the Islands of Okyogun Development AOD, a social political group in the Okyogun area of Oyo State, has alleged that a recent visit by a controversial cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi to Igboho area of Oyo State was an attempt to relocate bandits being chased out from northern Nigeria to Okyogun. The National Coordinator of AOD, Otumba Abiodun Fasasi, in a statement made to journalists, alleged that the visit was a clandestine move by Gumi and others to make Okyogun area a hotbed of violence. The group described it as felonization agenda. The body made reference to a recent video showing the Islamic scholar with Professor Usman Yusuf, a professor of hematology and oncology during his visit to Igboho with a claim that the visit was for the continued unity of Nigeria. It said, it is rather mind blogging to hear that Sheikh Gumi and his co-travelers were in Igboho Okyogun. Sheikh Gumi is also known all over the world as a habinga, mastermind, mouthpiece, solicitor, and patron of banditry in Nigeria. To him, there is nothing wrong with banditry. As a matter of fact, he sees it as a flourishing business. It is more disturbing that an indigent of Okeogun can willingly be a host to a personality like Gumi. We want the DSS Department of State Service to investigate the real reason for this visit and the host equally has to be investigated. This is a person consumed by his passion for banditry to the extent of drawing an analogy between banditry and Niger Delta militancy. As if that's not enough, he is one saddled with the responsibility of championing the cause of amnesty for the bandits. He recently accused the Nigerian president of political gullibility for tackling the bandits, trivializing the military action ongoing in Zamfara, known as Vestiva of Fire, by tagging it an unwise decision that no reasonable solution can come out of. Against the backdrop of the above, convincingly, we now know better who Shegumi is, having seen the handwriting on the wall as the military action is neutralizing, eliminating, and destroying the bandits in their scores. And as the bandits are fleeing the northern part of the country, especially Zamfara and its environs, it's unacceptable for Gumi and his bandits to see Okyogun or your state as they are having. This will never be condoned without mindset words we can say Gumi has come as an advanced party for the relocation of the bandits. Hence, the apex social political group in Okyogun Alliance for Okyogun Development AOD uses this medium to charge the federal government, the Oyo State Chief Security Officer, Governor Sheimakinde, to look into this case and nip it in the board. Any untoward action that Sheikh Gumi's visit may cause a peaceful region. We also call on the traditional rulers and the entire people of the state to be at alert against individuals that are strangers and might pretend, you know, they might pretend danger to our well being. The group condemned Yusuf for saying that Igboho community was made popular by whom he called Odetani in Benin Republic, referring to Chief 
Son the Adiemo, who is popularly referred to as Son the Boho. A video went viral recently where Gumi was seen with Yusuf at Igboho preaching Nigerian unity and saying they observed Fulani people and natives doing their businesses in peace while cows were grazing in their courtyards. Osman said in the video, this is a town made popular by the detainee in Benin Republic. Nigeria is one and will always be one. We have come, we have just seen, pardon, the hinterland where we have seen examples of how we should live and this is how we can all come together, all faiths, all tribes. You see, the town we went to, Elisha Bariba, you see churches, you see monks, you see Fulanis, and you see natives all coming together and people are saying Nigeria is divided. He observed. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this that has been said according to what we've heard in the news? The Alliance of Okyogun God you know, Development, AOD, a socio-political group in the Okyogun area of Oyo State, has alleged that the recent visits by controversial cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi to Igboho area of Oyo State was an attempt to relocate bandits being chased out of northern Nigeria to Okyogun. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? Obviously, people can now see who Gumi truly is. Sheikh Gumi's recent visit to Oyo was to relocate fleeing bandits, that is the northern bandits, down to the south. That is what the group have alleged. I would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section. I would like to share your own reaction with us on the spend development. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Celestine Chiki reacted to this and said, Sheikh Gumi, the minister for bandit affairs and terrorist negotiator. What is your thought about this? Matthew Owumao also reacted to this and said, did anybody noticed that after his visit, that bandits have started their normal business over there as usual? Series of killings and adoptions are now happening there now. What is your thought about this that Matthew has said that ever since he has visited that area, those bandits have also started their normal business over there as usual? Series of killings and adoptions now are happening presently there. According to what Celestine have said earlier, that you know Gumi is the minister for bandit affairs and also the terrorist negotiators. Obviously, is always negotiating and demanding for amnesty for the bandits. What is your own reaction to this? We would like you to drop your thoughts in reaction via the comment section. Don't forget that Sheikh's Sheikh Ahmed Gomez's recent visit to Oyo was to relocate the fleeing northern bandit down to the south. That is what the groups have alleged. We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on this. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.